Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator that is debounce operator. So this is more commonly used operator. So when we will try to use this operator, let's try to know. If we try to read the definition of this one, emits a notification from the source observable only after a particular time span determined by an another observable has passed without another source emission, they are saying. So that means what it is telling is, so emits a notification to the source observable, only a particular time span defined by an another observable has passed. So that means what it is trying to tell is, debounce the, when the source observable try to emit the data. So now debounce operator will have a duration selector that is nothing but it will try to run an interval, so particular duration. So if when this duration is passed away, the only the particular what we can say is the re most recently emitted value will be there, right? So that value will be passed to the operator they are saying, to the output observable they are saying. Now this one looks like something like, something like audit or throttle you can expect. So uh, same like that only but it is a little bit of difference is there. The main thing what we need to do is, here if you try to read the parameter, uh, read the syntax, debounce, it will be taking the duration selector, same as the audit and the throttle, same as that one, it takes the duration selector. But the throttle will take something like leading and the trailing, so first value and the last value in between the duration selector they are saying. So here the debounce operator, what it will say, try to say, the, when the duration selector, when the duration is completed by the inner observable, so when it is completed or emitting the value. So you need to know that uh, duration selector is nothing but when it emits or completes, then the last emitted value by the source observable will be taken and it will be sent. Now here, here you will try to see that. So the last, so now here is an observable running. When this observable is completed, immediately the A is the last value. So that is the reason A has been sent. So here C is the value, C has been sent. So like this, you will be having the debounce operator. So same, uh, nothing but what I can say is in a simple scenarios, for example, the source observable when a new value arrives, okay, in the, here we will be in the debounce operator, in the debounce operator we have a duration selector, immediately when a new value arrives here, the debounce operator, it, it will execute the duration observable. Now it will, uh, the debounce automatically subscribes to this duration observable, okay, this duration observable. Now, what it will have, what it will do is this duration selector, what the debounce, it will keep the value, a value, it will keep the value, okay, and discards the, and discards this value when a new value arrives by the source observable. For example, when in between this one, when B arrives immediately, when this duration is running, it, skip, it discards this a value and stores the recent value as B. So, it will keep it in buffer something like that. Now, when the duration observable, so when this duration observable emits a value or completes, you need to understand that when it emits a value or completes, then it will pass this stored value. So whatever the recent value, stored value is there, right? It will be passed to the observer or otherwise to the output observable. Now in between this one, what you can say is, for example, in between this one, but here you need to understand the main thing is, for example, if a new value, if a new value, so for example, I told you, right? So B value is arrived. So when the B value is arrived, before this source observe, before this duration. So that means when the duration is running, so then when new observe, new value is emitted means, again this duration will be started from first onwards. This one you need to understand. So again this duration will be started from first onwards and then it will emit the data. So it will emit the data. So that means whenever a source observable new one, okay, new one will be emitted, again this du duration will be started freshly. But the previous duration, what it is running, it will be discarded, it will be removed. That is the main thing. So let's try to see the, so the same, the same thing, what they are trying to explain is the same thing. So now let's try to see the practical implementation of the debounce operator. A little bit of confusion, it will be there, but I will try to explain it practically. Let's create the debounce operator. Here I am creating. So let's go to the operators here in the HTML. Sorry, uh, yeah, HTML and I am adding here debones and debones debones okay and let's go to the app routing module.ts and here in this app routing module.ts what i will try to do is debones debones and here i can add debones operator debones operator component 
let's try to see the debounce operator now if i go to the ts now let's try to see that i have an interval okay i have an interval of for every one one second it will emit the value 0 1 2 3 like this now if i subscribe to this one let's i will subscribe to this one so now i have subscribed to this one console.log of data sorry console.log of data now what i will try to do i will try to add a debounce to this one so if i try to add debounce to this one so what it will try to do is so each time you will get an element okay the element means the whatever the source observer emitting the value you will get the value so instead of element i will try to add value now here i need to send a duration selector that thing but what i can say is interval interval i am sending an interval i will do value into 100 or something like that okay so value into 100 let's say assume okay so this is the debounce so every time whenever the value is emitted it will be multiplied value into 100 now let's see the output so first let's analyze the output before seeing the output let's analyze the output if you try to see the output first time for after one second zero will be emitted so it will wait first it will not send the interval will not send first zero and then count for and then wait for one second it will not wait like that so first it will wait for one second and then it will emit the zero so that means first it will not get so after one second it will get a value of zero it will be passed to the debones operator and it zero into 100 it will be a zero interval of zero means so immediately the duration is ended so when the duration is ended the last stored value is the zero right so the the zero will the zero will be printed as an output so next what it will try to do again one will be print one will be emitted after one second one debounce it will go here interval one into hundred immediately hundred millisecond so now here after one second two value will be emitted but here interval immediately will be completed so now the last value stored value is one only okay so like this it will go on so next the value is the two two it will go two into hundred is the two hundred so that means immediately the interval will be ended before before emitting the before observable emitting the another value so now two will be printed like this it's go on three like this it will go on printing so let's go to the nine okay so nine so now when interval emits the nine value so debounce of value nine is nine into hundred it is a nine hundred okay nine hundred nine also will be printed okay fine now it will come to the ten value now let's take the 10 so debounce of value 10 into 100 is a thousand interval thousand in, thousand so now it it has to it will when it, when it will emit after one second it will emit the data so until then this duration is going on running so before this completion only this interval will emit the data immediately okay so when this interval emits the data 11 interval 11 in 100 it will be 1100 so 1100 means so it will wait for the 1100 time to until until to complete the this duration so before completion only again it is emitting the data why because this will emit this will emit for every one second but here the duration is running up to 1100 1100 milliseconds so now one one second it has run right so again it will emit the data 12 so 12 into 100 means it will discard the previous interval and it will try it will run the new interval here again so we it will not emit the data now when 200, 1200 milliseconds so now this 1200 milliseconds is more than the interval right so then he from here onwards it will not emit any data okay so this will not emit any data so the debounce operator the duration the duration completion is more than the source observable emission so whenever the source will be emitted so here the duration is running before the duration completes only the interval is the source value is emitting the data so that means it will discard the previous interval and it will run a new interval new duration selector so that is the reason from 9 onwards it will not emit the data so now the expected output what it will be if you try to see the output here now if i try to take the debones let's try to take the debones 0 1 2 if you try to see here 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and it will not emit the data from 9 onwards okay so this is how the debones operator works in the real time how we will be checking this debones operator is for example i have a button okay so i have a button of type debones click okay I don't want this button to be clicked multiply. So, for example, some people will be going on pressing on that button. So, I don't want to press, I don't want to submit that user all the time when the user is pressing. So, when the user has been completed for a particular period of time, let's say when the user are going on clicking, right? So, I will take the time of something like one second. So, if the if the duration between the one click and the second click is that one second means then I need to take the click count. 
or otherwise if he if, if he if he's going on clicking on that uh, button means i need to take only one click at the end of the click i need to take so now let's try to take button d bones or something like this okay so i i took this id and here let's go to the .ts file and here i will try to add after view init okay after view init now if you try to check here ng after view in it sorry what happened after view in it right ng after view in it okay so let's try to run ng after oh sorry i am run, i am running inside the ng on it so that is the reason you are getting it. yeah here ng after view in it when the dom has been initialized so let's try to take button event is equal to from event of document dot get element by id so that is nothing but button underscore debones i think so button underscore debones so i need to take it as a must and should operator so that way we need to make the typescript that that the value is present uh, mandatorily that value is present so no null assertion exception will come so now button event is there so button event dot so this as this is an observable what i will try to do here i need to add something like let so button event dot pipe of debounce i will add the debounce here so that what i will try to take i will try to take the value so i will run interval of 1000 so that means for every one second only i need to take dot subscribe of data okay so let's try to print the console dot log of data okay let's try to comment out this one so here i have added this button right now here we are having a button let's assume that here i am having debones click now if i click on this one normally after one second it will give the event why because it is waiting for the one one second that user is not pressing it again now what i will if i press it again it will wait for one second then afterwards the event will be fired so now i will go on click on this one see the event is not firing here after when i stopped here it will wait for one second and it will give the last clicker pointer it will try to give okay so this is how we can we can stop unnecessary clicks using the debounce thing so normally what we can do is so this debounce thing we can use it in the normal this multiple clicking thing and also when auto complete also when the user goes on, goes on typing on the thing something like uh, when you are going on typing on the auto complete so it will when you when you stop pressing the keyboard events Key, uh, keyboard letters if you are if you stop uh, typing that one then it will take complete value using the debounce thing then it will take the value into the concentration okay so this is how we will be taking using the debounce thing so same thing in the autocomplete also you will use the interval of 1000 so we will wait for one second when the user stops typing on that key uh, input box when he stops we will take that value and we will give it to the HTTP ajax call unnecessarily to prevent all the unnecessary calls this one so this is the use of the debounce operator Hope you understood about this debounce operator. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.